Las Vegas tried to build a city center, but we are in New York for the real city center. Listen to the horns, that's part of the excitement. The Las Vegas city center has lots of expensive restaurants. What they need is this, a little uh, corner uh, cart with fruit, vegetables, and enough to eat for under $5. This is a scaffold. When the weather gets good in a real city, we have outdoor dining. Trucks unloading. TV news trucks. Stores selling all kinds of electronic equipment and you must know how to bargain. Theaters. Guys ready to haul their breakfast carts away. A gentle wind. Lots of taxis and traffic. Psychics. T-shirts for sale, lots of signs, lots of excitement. As we go past 47th Street, there are no more cars on in this area. It is all for pedestrians. Our cab driver was telling us he had been to New York, excuse me, he had been to Las Vegas twice. First time 20 years ago and he had a wonderful time. He walked and walked and walked. Three years ago he came to Las Vegas and he couldn't walk straight down the strip. He had to go up and over and down. He said it's no more fun walking. Of course he's sitting in a cab all the time so walking is very important. He said here in New York we care about the pedestrians, not in Las Vegas. Well, I think we care about all people in Las Vegas but he's right. It, this is a wonderful walking city. The lady is in charge. In New York, they even have places for people to sit and watch what's going on. There were too few seats in city center the last time I visited. Well, an excited conversation is going on right in front of us. This I hadn't seen before. Folks on the street selling tickets. And although Las Vegas has lots of great signs, nothing can beat Times Square. This is funny. Featured on this cart, hoodies. Sightseeing buses everywhere. And folks of all ages. When my husband and I come to New York, we pick out shows that we want to see. And the very first day we're here, we run around and get tickets. The show we wanted to see most End of the Rainbow, uh, a Judy Garland story that got wonderful reviews. So I've just gotten tickets for Thursday night. Now I'll go and try and fill in all the rest of the shows we want to see. Steam tunnels underground sometimes show up on top of the ground. And of course there are tourists. After all this walking, you never know whether a truck like this will come in handy. Look who's in the sunshine. And 
Asian tour group. I don't know whether they're about to get on the bus, but <laughs> they just might. I thought Frank lived in Las Vegas, but apparently he's in New York too. Go on a trash can. More entrepreneurs on Broadway with their bags full of money. Well, this looks like an outfit in Las Vegas, but in fact, it's New York in April and it's warm. A place to sit and a bunch of daffodils. A little gray, but they are here blooming on Broadway. And we have the working folks in suits and high heel shoes, also walking up Broadway. Come on, and of course, man, some big cities shit. have folks on horses and people oh, yeah, taking pictures. One thing you always see in New York is somebody working underneath the street, and I don't know whether you can hear it, there's a baseball game being played. This is Consolidated Edison, the electric utility. This is exactly what I'm going to do, <laughs> rent a bicycle on time and ride down Broadway. Wait till 6 o'clock. Olympics display so right in Times Square. Square. De definitely text and tweet friends. Let them know that you're here and use hashtag raise our flag. In a city like New York, known for its Broadway shows, this is the lineup waiting for a Wednesday afternoon matinee. We're sitting in a restaurant watching the world go by. You see the girl, oh, where is she? <laughs> She's been looking for a cab for a long time. She has two suitcases. In the meantime, a New Jersey taxi cab came and let some folks off, and they're still standing here, so we don't know what they're waiting for. <laughs> Watch the guys walk by. They could be dancers. They could be Broadway um, stars. Who knows? And we see lots and lots of people with cell phones walking by wonder who they're talking to. It's just like one long movie. Garbage day seems to be every day in Times Square. Souvenirs of New York are very easy to come by. They even have five t-shirts for ten dollars. This is one big sign. Well, now you can't see it, but on those dark strips, the sign floats all the way across. There we go. Thank you. And it moves. We do see a lot of dog walkers here. We also, uh, there is a bike path on Broadway. And as I crossed the street, it fell across right in front of me and almost the bike, biker was coming real fast. The biker yelled, fucker! <laughs> it just missed the pedestrian. The Vegas slogan has many iterations. Here is one um, for sale on the streets of New York. Parked on Broadway, the Go Burger truck. That certainly is a good name. New York's finest. We see a lot of police at Times Square. This is the line for Anything Goes, the show. And there's a man with a group of school kids up there, and he's holding up his cane in the air, and that's to say, this is our group and follow me. Well, this is familiar, m and World. And this looks familiar, a gentleman's club. This is 
one of the famous New York delis, Carnegie, and this is the line for lunch. April showers <laughs> come to New York. They've had a drought, so they're very happy to see the rain. A last look at the real city center headed toward the airport.